Hey, it's Chessie from Squeegee Inc. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to reclaim your screens and get them from this to this. Ready for your next print job. We're going to take you through two methods. Uh, the first one is like manual and that's better for like smaller setups. And the second one is using the dip tank and that's for more professional setups and studios. Just to let you know, this is the quick overview version. The full version is on our website and that covers loads of different things like how to remove adhesive, locked in screens and dehazing. We're going to start with that manual setup. So this is how you're going to reclaim the screen without a dip tank. So these are the chemicals that we're going to use. We've got the Plasol ink remover, Easy Solve 500. That's the decoder. Screen degreaser. So we're going to show you this in three easy steps. First of all, it's going to be taking that Plasol ink off, then it's going to be taking the emulsion off, decoating, and then we're going to uh, degrease that mesh and get it ready for its next coat and your next job. So let's just get that Plasol ink off first. So you've got your, your Fromar Plasol ink remover. I'm quite generous with it, and then we'll have a scrubbing brush. This I normally put my mask on, so I'll do it now. At this point, if you haven't been using Plasol ink, and you've, you're likely to be using water-based, so you should just be able to wash that out with water. But if it is being particularly difficult, there's a really good chemical by Franmar called Aquawash. That's put the huge majority of that Plasol ink off already. So I'm gonna just get the um, emulsion off now. So I've got the Easy Solve, which is the concentrated um, solution. It's just uh, watered down a little bit, and then I'm gonna put that on with another brush. It's important to do both sides as well, and uh, try and let the chemical do the work, so the more the merrier. You can see it kind of breaking down and getting a little bit lighter and thinner, so it shows that it's working. So I'm pretty sure that's going to come off nice now, so I'm going to whip my mask back on. nicely and what you're going to find is that these edges sometimes um, if you've got a little bit of thicker emulsion on those sides you just need to go a little bit closer and that pressure from the power washer will just lift those off. Um, we're ready to do our degreasing now so I've given it a bit of a rinse at the end there I went from top to bottom now I'm going to use the screen degreaser and a nice fresh new brush. Awesome. So you could do another little inspect, like hold it up against the light. That looks really, really good to me. I can't see any hazing and I can't even see where that image was uh, exposed onto the screen. So that is ready for the, for the drying room. And there we go. If you're enjoying this content, if you could please hit subscribe, 
you'll get a notification next time we upload. And then follow us on Instagram because we upload daily. The second method is the dip tank method. So it's a less manual and it's, you find it more in professional setups. So how I've been trialing it myself is I actually like to remove the plaster quickly and then put it in the dip tank. Um, I just feel it's more effective that way and it is actually quicker and better results. Again, at this point, if you're not using that Plastar link and you're using water-based, you can use that Aqua Wash by Fran Ma that we've got in the link below. Now it's ready for that dip tank. Next, we're ready to pop that screen into the dip tank. This is the easy way dip tank, so it's got that solution of um, decoder, uh, quite a lot of water, and sp supposedly dehazer as well. So we'll pop that in. It's best when you've got like a couple at a time, so you can wrap these up. But you can just like push the frame down in there, and then you've got these little battens to kind of keep it down, because there's like, air in the frame and it's going to try and rise up. So I've kind of worked out that two minutes works really well. So we've got our uh, dip tank in a little shed because uh, we have to have our washout booth and stuff outside because our studio is quite small. But what we've done is with the, the shed is there to stop the solution from freezing. We've also got insulation around the back there to try and like keep that temperature up. Ideally, uh, you actually want the dip tank to be quite warm so it's even more effective. So that's had a good amount of time now. So you can take out your little buttons you want to like let some of that solution fall back in there so that it drip back in and we're ready to take it to the tank Now we're ready for that degrease again. So you've got your nice white brush and your degreaser. Brilliant. So that's the second method and believe me it's so much easier than manually brushing and waiting because you can get into a real rhythm of having two in there at a time. You can get two side by side uh, and it speeds it up so much better and it just makes the whole reclaim process much easier in a professional studio. Just a reminder, you've just watched our short video and our long one is on our website and it covers loads of tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked that video. If you could hit the subscribe button and make sure you follow us on Instagram as well.